Roseanne, we've known each other for three decades. Yes, a long time. And you have been a professional counselor. As you have been a professional counselor, how many people have we known in Hong Kong? Yes, quite a lot. So many different people. And so many changes. And that's why we want to think about women, women now mm -hmm. and women then, and how women have changed over these years. Mm, that must be very interesting. Yes. And it covered different generations. Always. Mm. Mm. Well, if they're interested in what we are talking about, how are they going to find us? They're going to find us Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, Psycho Alchemy. We are women now and then. See you there. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Women Now and Then. I'm Dorothy, and this is my good friend, Roseanne. Uh, Roseanne. Hey, hello yeah. everyone. <laughs> Hi. Good to hear from some of you. It's been, it's been very hel helpful to have questions and yes, comments. Yes, yes, yes. People letting us know. Yeah. Right. F uh, since we have our episodes out and people give us feedback, and uh, <coughs> feedback is really good because uh, we know where what what's the best, what is what needs to improve, and mm -hmm. there are some suggestions to us. And today we are going to change our program a little bit in order to uh, answer some of your feedback. And I think the key, Roseanne, mm -hmm. uh, after our first episode was out, people said that we seem to, um, after we talk about the 20s, 30s, and 40s, mm -hmm. somehow we overlook the uh, 50s and onward. So today, oh, our yeah, today our episode will instead of focusing on money, we'll focus on that. But before that, we still have other questions. We had two other things. People yes. wanted to know, a, a very young young woman, she mm -hmm. was only 22, she said, well, what does Dorothy do <laughs> when she's not making a video? Uh -huh. And I thought, okay, and then she said to me, well, what do you do? Oh, yeah. So I thought, okay, people need to know. We're human beings. Yes. We, have, we have professional responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And I took the question seriously. She said, what do you do? I said, well, sometimes I do women in groups, mm. to which the 22-year-old said, well, why do you do women that? Women in groups. Uh -huh. I said, well, as women get older, mm -hmm. even if they're in older means in their 40s, she said, yes, or 50s or 60s, they like to talk together mm -hmm. because I might initiate an idea, but then one of the women in the group interprets it a little bit mm. differently. Yes. And then another woman says, well, I think it could also be considered, and so you get a dynamic in the group that makes it much more appealing than simply one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Now, Dorothy <laughs> and I have known each other for a long time. We like talking yes, together, yes, and yes. we challenge yeah. each other. Yeah. So Dorothy, what do you do? when? <laughs> what's one of the things you do when you're not doing a video? <laughs> okay, when you said you like to form a women's group uh, yeah. where people will talk, um, I imagine I Im immediately have this uh, Chinese saying oh. that when free women women are together, it becomes a marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that yes. so true, right? So yeah, so true. Women are so good at getting together and and start talking. Yes, they bring up one topic, and sometimes we argue. We don't always uh, agree Agreed. with each other, but Agreed. the good thing is we're willing to share. And yes. and just now when you asked me what what do I do other than doing this uh, 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 broadcasting, what what else do I do? Actually, I do a lot of training. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I will use half of my time in training uh -huh. and half of my time in counseling. The reason oh. the, uh, why ha why I have this uh, I, I would say dual role. Yes. Is mainly because uh, after doing counseling for so many years. I realize that um, I, I think you you have the same ex impression mm -hmm. too. As a counselor, people always come to us when when there's problem. <laughs> Why would they right, come? Right, they don't owe us any money, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so the key is when they come to us. Some of the time, the problem is already quite devastating. Yes. Maybe sometimes we cannot even help much. Yes. And and while we are sitting there s hearing all these sad stories, I always have that in mind. If only they knew ah, in advance, right? Yes. And what do what what should they expect in a marriage? Yes. If there is a conflict in money issues, mm -hmm. conflict in sex, conflict in how to uh, raise a child, if they have the knowledge, and I think uh, I think there's similar uh, saying in in the Western world, but in Chinese we say 
instead of giving the people a fish when they're hungry, yeah. maybe teach them how to fish, right? Wow. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a very very famous yes. saying. Yes. So what I do, I think yeah. Roseanne also did a lot, right? Mm -hmm. when, when, uh, when you had time, when, when yes. you were in the school, right? We do teaching. We do teaching. We do teaching. Yeah. Mm. University courses, mm -hmm. courses in community yes. centers. Yes. And it's really good when people come because they want to learn something. Yes. Yes. They're not quite sure exactly, mm -hmm. but they know it will be helpful to be in a setting where education's going yeah. on. And this is one form of education, <laughs> folks. Mm -hmm. Dorothy and I are talking, mm -hmm. but as my 22-year-old mm -hmm. said, <laughs> that sweet girl said, I learned so much from that program on identity. Uh -huh. Identity. Yeah, and, no. and you know, one, one thing is, um, when when we talk about identity yes. uh, uh, on our first uh, episode, actually, uh, we was I was thinking, what do I mean by identity is the concept, mm -hmm. you know, who we are, who but we are, my right. But also very important is expression of who we are. Exactly. Right. It's it's more than just a role. People will ask me, so what's the difference between a role and an identity? Role as a daughter is a role, mm -hmm. right? But w if we're talking about identity as a daughter is, you know, how I see myself as a daughter and how I express myself as a daughter in my Wong's family. I'm Dorothy Wong, yes. so in my Wong's family. But maybe a, in a Lee's family w will be different. Right. So it's identity is quite different from role. It's more three dimension. That's how I see it three-dimension and maybe even multi-dimension multi -dim over time. Yes. Now, this identity mm. plays into the idea that in the first session we also talked about being cross-cultural oh, yes. identity. Yes. Because when you are in your family, mm -hmm. you know the honorifics of your household. Mm. You know how things are supposed to be done, mm. how your mother likes the table organized, mm -hmm. how did the towel have to be hung up in the bathroom. <laughs> you, you know the honorifics of your household. Right. But the same person uh -huh. could move into another even another Chinese household, but mm. you're not the daughter anymore. Mm, mm. So you take on a different, mm. a different aura, mm. a different way of behaving. Yes. Now, Dorothy, I know that <laughs> you have visited many American households. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in <laughs> some of those American households, there will be chopsticks on the table mm -hmm. when you eat, and some not. Mm. So Dorothy, who has done many cross-cultural visits, mm -hmm. can be at ease, chopsticks, or no chopsticks, mm, mm. paper napkins or linen napkins, <laughs> or no napkins, <laughs> or no napkins, <laughs> oh, or a roll of paper towels. <laughs> paper towels. It's formality and informality. Mm. What we know about when people talk about cultural awareness mm. or cultural identity, you know that three-dimensional part of you that is you, mm -hmm. but you also recognize the idea. Mm that another place, another setting, another family, another organization mm. might be different. Mm. And that's what makes for this cross culture. Mm. So there's so many levels of being culturally aware. Mm. There are, now Dorothy's traveled extensively <laughs> and has met with many different groups. And I have met with some, Southeast Asia has been my, my place of mm. traveling. Mm. All right, but what about the person who says, well, I'm not very cross-cultural. Mm. This this 22-year-old who wrote to me from the United States said, I, I don't think I'm very cross-cultural. Mm. So I said to her, well, what do you mean? And she said, well, I haven't traveled very much. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I live in a small town mm. in the southern part of the United States. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, do you read? And she said, well, yeah, that's... <laughs> and I, I go on the internet, and that's how I found your program. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, you're by yourself, mm. but you're reaching out to learn mm. about other cultures. Mm. To which she said, other than reading, what can I do? Mm. <laughs> so mm. I said to her, food. Mm. Would you try Spanish food or mm. Chinese food? Mm. And she goes, oh yeah, I do that all the time. That's another level well. of being aware of cultural difference. Yeah, and, and if you... Happen uh, if they that person that lady is from the states. Yes. If they so happen to have the Netflix, uh, obviously they can watch movies, drama from all over the world. Uh, when I was in the states uh, in the eighties, mm -hmm. seventy late seventies and eighties, well, cable TV was 
then very popular. Yes. But still, they are focusing on a lot of American production. Yes. But now, if with the YouTube and then with Netflix and with all the satellite or whatever, there's no way you said you are very local. It really yes. depends on whether you are willing to open up yourself to, to yes. just watch programs from all over the world. But mm -hmm. I would say that when you said that, I can really see the difference. Mm -hmm. Hong Kong is quite unique. It Hong is. Kong itself is basically very cross-cultural. Right. The whole and town is, right? the whole Just city. Just imagine walking yes. from the MTR station all the way to this uh, 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 studio. Uh, I pass by Indian food, Italian food, uh, Korean, food. Uh, Korean food. food, and then Chinese food are from like 15 different mm. provinces, yes. right? And yes. then Japanese food. So you can, you can imagine if you are in a place, already you see cross-cultural every day. So you, you, okay. are, you are quite comfortable when you mm -hmm. bump into someone that is totally different from you and they just w come over and walk and talk to you and ask how to go, go to the uh, MROT station and you just start talking to them. Of and course. I can imagine if people are not are n are living in a, in, a, in a place where there's a l a less exposure. Less exposure. Yeah, that's so my the effect. setting mm. makes a big difference mm -hmm. about how the person feels within herself. Yes, yes. That she wants to reach out or she may have heard of other cultures, mm. but she doesn't know how that becomes. She's not aware mm. of how cross-cultural she is mm -hmm. or wants to be mm -hmm. or could she be that way? Who would she trust? Mm. In Hong Kong, it's very easy. Yeah. Chinese Dorothy meets American <laughs> Roseanne, and we say, let's go have Thai food for <laughs> lunch. Yes. Both of us agree. Yes. But you take that 22-year-old mm -hmm. who hasn't had Thai food, mm -hmm. and she wonders, well, should we even go away from this small town? Mm. So it, it's difficult. Hong Kong is very blessed. Mm. Look at all the movie theaters <laughs> we have. <laughs> True. And some of them are showing Indian movies, yes. and some of them are showing some things from Bollywood, mm -hmm. and we and some art films. You can go together, yeah, yeah, and then eat Thai food <laughs> or Korean. <laughs> so we or go vegan or go vegan. <laughs> or go yes. So we we are very fortunate to yeah. live in an international cross cultural town. Yes. Another way in which it shows up is that. Dorothy, I will bet mm. that you know almost as many families mm. where the partner is not Chinese. Oh, yes, yes, yes. As where the partner is Chinese. Yes, yes. And when you go into a Chinese family home, you will see the family pictures. Mm. And they will say, oh, that's the son-in-law from Australia. Mm. My daughter's living with him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the guy from Italy right. that we brought here because he was an exchange student. Hong Kong people do that. Yes, yes. They easily incorporate <laughs> right. people from other cultures. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's another city, mm. urban area, mm -hmm. where so many families mm. would welcome people mm. who were ethnically, culturally <laughs> different <laughs> from everybody else in the yeah, family. Yeah. Well, when you said that, I imme immediately think of some of my friends. Yes. And they have like a son-in-law from Australia, and then maybe that their daughter-in-law are from Japan, right? Yes. So you can imagine during Chinese New Year, <laughs> yes. the banquet is quite interesting. Yes. Uh, they yes. will try to stick to the traditional Chinese meal, but sometimes you realize the 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 son-in-law uh, from Australia might prefer a steak rather than all those uh, Chinese, uh, uh, well how to say, the, the reddish cake or whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it, and it's a lot of funny thing. Uh, the tradition, uh, sometimes the, the Westerner ha have no idea. You're not supposed to sweep the floor uh, yes. during Chinese New Year because all the good luck will be gone. Oh, <laughs> is that <laughs> so what that's about? <laughs> yes, so they cannot understand. And, and, and you can imagine that's a lot of fun. And cross-cultural um, is getting so... Is actually, I see that's a turn. Yes. When I was back in the er early 80s, um, it's not a taboo, but people don't feel comfortable because the in-law cannot speak fluent English. Yes. Uh, they speak a little bit English, they still feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But now you can see the you, if the parents are in their s maybe born in the 60s or 70s, yes. sure, they can speak English. And I think they feel quite, uh, 
他就说 ，quite honor in the public area they can speak、mm-hmm. English with the in-laws. And I remember one thing. Uh, my friend told me、uh, her husband actually was quite happy with uh, uh, son-in-law that from UK,、ah. and they can talk a, a lot about what happened in UK、uh, because my friend's husband、uh, went to boarding school then, and、oh. but the his wife、uh, from local from Hong Kong, uh-huh, so uh-huh. she has no、yes. idea her his experience、Ooh. in UK. So now his son is law. Son in law is from UK,、yeah. and it's like he got his son. You understand? Yes. Really, that it's、he、like、eh, you know he all know all his experience. It's phenomenal. Yes. Now we talked about Westerners. There might even be some people who are living in a small Chinese community, mm, mm. and the Chinese community might be in China,、mm. or it might be in Canada,、mm. or it might be in the States. Oh yes. Now. If you're part of that community、mm. where everybody speaks Pudonghua、mm. and you go to classes together, college groups,、mm-hmm. maybe even teaching on a college campus, how can some of those people, if they want to break out of the Chinese、oh. culture,、yeah. how how d- how did you do that, Dorothy?、Oh, I think it's it's, it's hard. It's, it's very difficult. Yes. Actually, when you <coughs> when you said that, it remind me of a few things that I talked with my friends in、yeah. the last few days since the all. Oscar came out.、Um, Green、yes. Green Book got the best、uh, movie, right? Yes. And and then a lot of my friends who l- still live in U.S. said, you know,、oh. the issue with、uh, black and white, right? That you know, and 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 sh- they said when they were young, they are m- they were they are American born Chinese,、mm-hmm. so obviously they are Chinese. But obviously, when, yeah, look right, at them, they're Chinese. Hundred percent Chinese. But when they go to school. When they go to uh, 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 what's that?、Uh, primary school at、uh, yeah. US is called elementary. Elementary school. Elementary school. They 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 speak fluent English because they are f- they、mm-hmm. born in US, right? But no kids will play with them because、oh. they they are Chinese, right? So、oh、when they were young,、God. they said they struggle so hard to be part of the American. Yes. But the little kids see them as Chinese, yellow face. So there's a gap. Still a gap. Right.、Still、so as they get get older, the American realize that this Chinese face kid is actually ma- American in heart, right? Yeah. So they start to play with them, you know, hang out, and and actually they had a pretty good time in high school, right?、Uh, mm-hmm. And then maybe even good friends at college. But the interesting thing is, as they get older, they realize they are a little bit different from、yes. the American. Yes. So at that time, exactly.、Through. Then the com- culture comes, comes through. through. So they s- they gradually start to stay away a little bit. Yes. And so it's it's like always a struggle. At that time, the American friends will say, "How come you are you are pulling away?、Mm-hmm. How come you are more sort of tend to lean more on the Chinese uh, 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 community?" So that's one thing. But there is another thing you mentioned is so interesting. Is if like me when I first went to the states, obviously they see us as international students,、mm-hmm. and all the Chinese and all the Taiwanese at that time PLC stu-、uh, people are not are so many. Not no, actually at the at, at the beginning, and w- is there's a tendency that we'll group together. Because we like to cook instant noodles together,、yes. we like to order the pizza. Rice cooker in the the room. rice cooker in the. Oh, actually, we only have a hot pot. Oh, everything、okay. is made from the hot pot. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, so there's so many things about、um, trying to get into the American society and whether you can really learn something from the American、mm-hmm. society, and that part will take another twenty minutes. But I, I for、yes. our first <laughs> section, maybe we can end by. Maybe、um, yes. Okay. Well, we we will talk about this a little bit more. Right.、Uh, when we come back, and we then we move on to talk about the fifties, sixties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties. Yes. Okay. We will. Okay. Dorothy, ah, 啲人咧成日話我哋九型人格嘅四號仔咧，就硬係咧好多愁善感，有份外多情嘅喎。你點睇呢一樣嘢？啊，咁就見仁見智嘅。不過比起其如果八個 number 咧，我哋又真係好似好多時都被情所困咁樣，真係會令人會覺得我哋好多情嘅。咁但係情又係乜嘢嘅一回事呢？咁其實情好闊嘅，有對父母嘅情啦，對兄弟姊妹嘅情啦，友情啦咁。不過我諗最困擾我哋嘅就係啲痴情咯。嗯
唔同埋因為情而帶嚟嘅好多好多嘅傷痛。嗯，咁啊，如果大家想知道我哋有幾咁多情呢，就留意我哋個節目啦。逢星期四晚夜晚十點正，練心堂濃滿多情。Hello again, everyone. You remember we left off talking about cross culture and how it feels to be in one culture, but you know you're experiencing another.、Mm. Now, one example we had is a young girl, twenty two, twenty four, in the United States, worrying about asking questions about how she could be international.、Mm. Dorothy, what about a Chinese、mm. girl who speaks Pudonghua as a first language、mm-hmm. or Cantonese as a first language,、mm. either in China or here in Hong Kong? If she says she wants to be more international,、mm. what does that mean? <laughs> what do you think? Interesting, huh?、Um, actually, my first answer that pop、yeah. up to my my mind is. If she marry a Westerner, <laughs> it would be so much easier, right?、Oh, she's got to、like、meet that. <laughs> 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 How does she get into <laughs> the community, the international circle? Well, I think、um, if you really want to get involved into the the Western world, or or maybe make yourself、mm-hmm. more international, yeah. First thing you have to learn the language. Yes. Well, I don't think there is any any way you can.、Um, Develop a relationship with、mm-hmm. another person if you don't communicate your、yes. mind, right? What you have、yeah. in mind.、Um, in Kangsheng, I don't know whether you have that experience. I I remember I have some cases that、um, Chinese women where ma- marry a French guy or a Westerner. <laughs> obviously, she's not even fluent in English, but she marry a maybe a European. So、yes. they try to communicate in English, and her English. Is so bad, and the the the, the European guy try to s- communicate with English. After a few years, yes, is it's、yeah. going to be very difficult. Yes. So when you ask me if, as a Chinese or or Hong Kong or from mainland or Taiwan, you want to go international, you must learn the language. Yeah, meaning you don't need to be hundred percent fluent,、mm-hmm. but at least you can express yourself. Uh, otherwise, miscommunication. How can、Happens、you develop?、So、right. How can you have、yes. a relationship? But in I- if it's social, you know, develop your social circle.、Mm-hmm. I would say get involved in more. Um, um, I'm not. I, what is that called?、Uh, not community. Where it's、uh, it's more like.、Um, Well, should she join a running club、yes, or should she、right. go to a lecture at the university? Yeah, what lecture in the university? Not, not too many Western, but I、yeah. would say some sort of maybe go to a gym. Aha!、Uh-huh. <laughs> right, some activity, some hiking activity. on Sunday afternoon. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Join the marathon training at the Easy, Happy Valley Race Track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, you'll be surprised. There's a lot of international、right. there. Yeah. yeah. And also.、Um, Allow yourself to do something that is not local people would do, like going to the art central, art yes, basel, or of、right. course go to an art show. Yeah, to an art and show, and doesn't have to be expensive. There's a lot、oh、of art、no. shows around、mm, Hong Kong. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness!、Mm. And go to the English part of the library <laughs> and the English part of the bookstores. <laughs> yes, and learn some songs.、Mm. Learn the English verse、yes. of some pop songs. Yes, we can get you out, sweetheart. If you <laughs> want to become more international. It can be done.、Mm. Dorothy has experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dorothy. Now, Dorothy, let's move on. That、mm. was the questions from the twenty. Yes. Last time, last time. Yes, yes. We got as far as talking about the changes in women's bodies, menstruation, right, right, for sexual feelings, mm, mm, right, sexual intercourse. Marriage or marriage, and then sexual intercourse. We're not saying we're not <laughs> judging how、mm-hmm. it might be done,、mm-hmm. and then pregnancy. Yes, and then moved on to menopause. Right, and we got to menopause in the woman's about fifty,、mm. and I think we concluded、mm-hmm. that you go through menopause when you no longer have a period.、Mm. Then you know you have gone through menopause. Yes. So now we have people in their early mid fifties. And they're going to look at their sixtieth、mm-hmm. birthday,、mm-hmm. and then ten years later, their seventieth、mm-hmm. birthday, and ten years later, their eightieth、mm. birthday, <laughs> and then their ninetieth birthday. And 
some scientists are saying we might all be living to 120. Yes. Now, I have no experience. <laughs> Me too. Of Me people. Either. I, I had one friend, mm -hmm. dear friend, who lived until the time she was 103. Wow. She gave me, when she was in her 90s, mm -hmm. she said, now Roseanne, she was in her 90s, mm -hmm. and it was very good to have someone who's 30 years older than me mm -hmm. telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. She said, you will work full time <laughs> until you're about 83. Mm. I said, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. So tiring. I'm so tiring. <laughs> I have these kids in the classroom. I'm doing night courses. How can I do that? And she said, and then from 83 to 93, you can work part-time. <laughs> Still have to work. You won't be so tired if you're doing something <laughs> you love. Uh-huh. And now it's so true, right? And this is a 93-year-old mm. person. Mm. Now just think, who are our role models mm. of older women? Mm. Now, the dear Jane Fonda <laughs> has just come out and she yes. said, well, I'm 80. 80. You know, her hair uh, is all yeah, yeah. lovely, and she's nice and slender, and she's talking about her career. And she says, I've had several careers. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And she said, but I'm old now mm. because I'm 80. Mm. And that's quite remarkable that mm. a woman is talking. Yes. How old is she? Mm. And she's being quite positive mm. about being 80. Right, but you know, just now when you said that Jane Fonda came out, uh, basically she had a good show uh, 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 by Netflix and quite popular. Yes. But the the thing is, she has always been a very, an a a role model to a lot of women. Yes. Yeah. I think uh, she so. kept a very good body, and she even though she had a very strong father. But she still managed to hold herself up pretty that's well. That's true. And for our program, women now and then, I can imagine women um, then, if you are in your 50s, especially for Chinese women, you are more, more or less have been parents and you some of them already grandparents. Mm -hmm. So at that time, maybe your family members will tell you to slow down. Right, unlike oh, yeah. a Western, maybe they say, "Ah, you are grandmother now, so maybe slow down and help to take care of the children." And if you are lucky in enough, your f your children uh, can give you some pocket money. Uh, you don't really need to work. Uh, maybe you just uh, enjoy your life because mm -hmm. I don't know about Western world, but Chinese have a saying. Um, if you live up to 60, it's already very... You should be happy. You should be <laughs> happy. very happy. So wow. if you are in the 50s, you are celebrating the last wow. phase of your life. But now Ooh, I can see... Changing, like, changing. Oh, definitely. 50, some of them, some of the women now, Hong Kong, maybe even in China, well, their children might still living at home. <laughs> yes. That would happen. Right, you can imagine, that right? Would happen. The kiddos are not willing to grow up, right? and even they graduate from college, um, they might be, they might still stay at home, and the parents yeah. have still have to take care of them, and uh. and actually there are three scenarios. I don't know whether no, you. No, let's hear. Let's one hear. scenario is that your children manage to graduate from university, uh, have a degree and he or she got a job, mm -hmm. right? But still, because the pay is not good enough to get his or her own apartment, they are living with, they you. Are living with you. But that is already a blessing in, mm -hmm. in disguise because uh, he or she is working. The other group are those that they do have a pretty good education, but somehow they don't feel comfortable working in the outside world, right. thinking the pay is not good enough, uh, no matter how hard they work, it's not going to buy them an apartment, so they decided to take an easy way out. Most of the time they stay at home, uh, they might get some part-time job, or even worse, they're not working. Oh so my you goodness. are actually continuing support your motherhood them. to yes. support them. Yes. Right, that's the second group. S and the third group is even more devastating. Um, your kids, despite not bringing in the income, <laughs> the money, live in your place, he or she might bring in their boyfriend and girlfriend to live oh with you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and that is something never happened then, yes, but it happened happen now, now, right? It and does. I don't think that is that popular in US 
because I think you have a bigger place to stay. Bigger places, right. one factor, right. yes. But in Hong Kong, because the place is so small and the kids cannot afford to move out, you I see a lot of clients in their 50s. They have to come to see me mainly because they cannot get their kids out of their apartment. Yes. You know, they just hang, uh, it's like a, 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 a how to say, couch potato. Yes. So they just sit in front of the TV and play with their game or just watch TV. And if they bring in their girlfriends or boyfriend, they always stay at the room. Yes. Right? They, they just not normal family life. And you can e hear the frustration. Oh my goodness. Is this goodness. something like that in the States? It, it mm. happens. It happens. It happens. Of course it happens. Uh, uh, the economy I is mm. such. And with these 50 mm. women in their 50s mm. and maybe in their 60s, mm. they're still looking young enough. Oh, yes. Because we're healthier. Yes. Women are not dying <laughs> when they're 60. <laughs> they're not. So let's just look at this woman's body. She mm. or she has this grown-up child mm. at home. But if she's gone through menopause, mm. one of the things that women wonder is, I still feel some kind of cycle mm -hmm. in my body. Mm, yes. Is that <laughs> usual or mm. not usual? But can she talk to her children? Mm. They're just wondering whether they should have sex or not, you know, <laughs> or have sex at home. But she's got these mm. feelings. Yes. But she also notices mm. that because of the estrogen level drop mm. in the body mm. that her skin texture mm. doesn't feel quite the same mm -hmm. and that's what brings a woman to a counselor she mm. feels she's getting old mm. Mm. now as far as old she knows she's not going to produce any more children mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if you understand menstruation it's mm. the egg coming through mm. no more eggs are going to be coming mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. But does she still have sex? Mm. Is she allowed to feel passionate mm. about sex? Mm. Uh, how does she talk to her long-term partner mm. about how their sex life has changed? Mm. When they have these grown-up children <laughs> in their house, it's very <laughs> awkward at times. Or something happens sometimes mm. with women in their 50s mm. where they really don't want the pocket money from the kids. Mm, mm, mm. They want their own jobs. Mm, mm. Now, I see a lot of the women who mm. want to go back to work mm. or want to change jobs, mm. or some who are even thinking about changing careers, oh. go back for more training. Uh -huh. Is it too old? Mm. And I go, sweetheart, sit down. It is not too old. <laughs> you're not even 60 yet. You will be working until you're 83. <laughs> and Rosanne, how can I be working? I'm telling you, I have it from a very reliable source <laughs> that most women have to think about working full time <laughs> until you're 83. 83. <laughs> uh, do you want money from your kids? No, 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 mm -hmm. I don't want money from my kids. Mm -hmm. And that starts many discussions about the dream work mm -hmm. because a lot of women in their 20s mm -hmm. took the job that their parents wanted them mm -hmm. to take mm -hmm. or took the job that was close to home and was bringing in enough mm -hmm. money but it was never really something they loved mm -hmm. so they went and they had the children mm -hmm. and they've raised the children mm -hmm. and now they're around age 50 saying mm -hmm. well is this lifespan is really going to go on oh yes sweetheart it's going <laughs> to go on you're not going to die at 60 <laughs> So we better get you a job uh -huh. if you want your own money. Uh -huh. And so I can't depend on George. Mm. That long-term partner mm. was good for raising children, mm. but maybe not so good. Mm. What does he do now? Well, you know, well, well you the frustrations frustra of the 50s and 60-year-olds. When you said that, I, I have a different picture in mind. Okay, another picture. I was thinking my when when I met up with a lot of women at that 50, 60 age, mm -hmm. there are a few issues that are quite uh, important to yes. them. Yes. First of all is after the menopause, they still have a lot of th th those post-menopause -men issues. Oh, many. Very, many. very depressing and maybe as you said, the body changed, everything changed, they became so moody. And also at that time, their spouse, their husband, their George, also retire. So oh, you yes. can imagine at that time, these two couples coming together, coming together in yes. full time, twenty four seven, actually create a lot of tension. Yes, right. And 
usually men at that time it's pretty hard to get better job get get a job oh in the corporate yes. world and unless he's willing to step down to a really low level kind of job which a lot of men are not willing to do mm -hmm. a lot of women will feel frustrating suddenly this man is at home at home all the time and so demanding right so at that time her own physical health emotional health together with the h spouse next to her had made her so frustrating she really want to get out and if the children are like the three examples yes. i gave you you can imagine this woman will go crazy and at, yeah at that time you can i can see some of the women came to see me always asked me a few things how can i get out of their house you know i don't want to spend so much time with my spouse and i sometimes i would suggest maybe you go back to school so that at least Maybe something's happening something happened and maybe two evenings you can get out of the apartment mm -hmm. right and also they would like to get part-time job yes right so yes. so the thing is is 50 and 60 the woman identity has to be changed some is the her own choice s like career change or do something for her own but some of them really want to get out and the worst case worst case scenario is because the children don't bring in the household money the mother think that she has to keep on absolutely making, right women feel so resourceful mm. that if they're at this job making this money then they have to do something more mm. now the 50s just get you ready for being in the 60s mm. where the hormones the hormones fluctuate mm. during th three four years after menopause mm. you're still kind of settling into this older woman's body mm. but our female bodies mm -hmm. are designed mm -hmm. to live to 100 or 120. Mm -hmm. So menopause is really midlife. Mm. It is a signal that you will not bear any more children, mm -hmm. but in a way you can become quite strong. So mm. some women, they go to, is will they see a counselor? Or will they start taking swimming lessons? <laughs> I had a talk with a co swimming coach one yes. time and she said, a lot of women decide they want to get stronger, yeah. so they, tar they start yoga classes, they yes. start swimming lessons, yes. they start running. These mm. marathons oh. are very popular yeah, around yeah, Hong yeah. Kong. Yeah. So they want to be physically stronger, and then that almost agitates. The husband's job seems to be in the sunset years, mm. and the wife seems to be in the sunrise mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that adds to mm. the conversation or lack of it mm. in the household mm. because when she's finished with menopause sometimes there is a increase in energy two three years after menopause mm. and she feels like she wants to try things mm. she wants to learn to swim she wants to run she wants to go back to class she wants to earn more money mm. and he's Mm. What, what is, what is <laughs> happening? Yeah, here? yeah uh, actually when yeah. you said that we at the beginning we talk about cross-culture, mm. I immediately think of the, the big trend in Japan. Yes. The Japanese women, they, they, they usually quit their job and get married and have children. And That's they actually spend true. a long time with their children. But once their children uh, grew up and she has the freedom, and most of them will join together and they form into like hiking. Hiking uh -huh. is so popular in Japan for 50, 40, 50, 60 yes. years old women. Yes. And they are very strong because hi in order to uh -huh. hike, you have to have a slim body. Yes, you have to keep right, going. You have to so, so you can see at that time, I like the, the comparison. When the man wh that whose identity came from Korea, once they retire, their self-esteem or maybe their whole vitality uh -huh. drop. Whereas the woman, if they manage to help their children, yes. you know, they all, all grow up and she has the freedom and now the physical body is no longer <laughs> uh, affected by all this um, menstruation yeah. issue. She ha actually had more power. Exactly. Right. So, uh, so interesting. That recognition of that power, Dorothy. Yes. So let's wrap this section up. And okay. we, when we come back, we'll focus on the 60s, 70s, and 80s. 60s, 70s, Mainly and Mainly because the movie we both saw recently, oh, the, wife, the Wife, actually touched on that must, age We must group. be talking yeah, about that. Let's yeah, let's come back with that. Dorothy, 
啊，咁就見仁見智嘅。不過比起其如果發個 number 咧，我哋又真係好似好多時都被情所困咁樣，真係會令人會覺得我哋好多情嘅。咁但係情又係乜嘢嘅一回事呢？咁其實情好闊嘅，有對父母嘅情啦，對兄弟姊妹嘅情啦，友情啦咁。不過我諗最困擾我哋嘅就係啲痴情咯。嗯，同埋因為情而帶嚟嘅好多好多嘅傷痛。嗯，咁啊，如果大家咧想知道我哋有幾咁多情咧，就留意我哋個節目啦。逢星期四晚夜晚十點正，練心堂濃滿多情。Okay, so we are back. It's like we have so much to talk about the fifties and sixty. Maybe we we are quite experienced at that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 50s, you definitely feel the energy. Yes. 60s, you begin to see that mm. some things take longer than mm. you thought. That mm. run to the beauty shop and back mm. takes a little bit longer. You're not running quite so much. Mm -hmm. But it's a judicious decisions about where you use your physical energy. 50s, you're still pretty powerful. Yes. 60s, it begins. Yes. It begins just very gently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, endurance is a little bit less. Right. And I think at that age, if you manage to learn how to set your priorities, yes. that will definitely help. I think women, before uh, you reach uh, 60s, you tend to think that you are an octopus, right? You can That's handle right. everything That's on your own. Right. But once you reach 60, you realize you just cannot remember so many things. Yes. But if you are managed to have a good habit, uh, you know where to put your keys, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. and you know where you usually put your important credit card mm -hmm. uh, statements, that is very important. Yes. Yeah, you don't rely so much on your memory, you rely more on a system. So once yes. you reach 60s, you 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 will be okay. And I another thing is when when you reach 60, I would say um, make life simple. That's another yeah. thing. I about cross culture. If now the women can manage to live up to 60, 70, 80, mm -hmm. 90, a lot of Chinese women because we are lucky. We we have a mm -hmm. much uh, younger. Face right, yeah. So they they look at the mirror, thinking, "Oh, I still look like forty." So you think you are forty, but yes. actually you are sixty. Yes, I think that is another issue that uh, a lot of Chinese women are facing these days. Yeah, you know my mom, right? My mom of is course. in her eighties. Eighties, yes. But if for people that don't know her, they bump into her, will always guess that, "Oh, Mrs. Wong, you should be around." 65 and you know my mom actually was so happy yes. deep down yes, inside yes, herself yes. right but the thing is i always had a mom yes you look very young you are you are mm -hmm. really blessed by such a good lovely face but you have to remember physically your body is 82 yes. right you have to know it yourself yes, right yes. and so let's move on to once you reach maybe mid 60s 70s mm -hmm. how is it like the beginning to slow down mm. but let me pick up on your priorities yes theme. yes because somewhere in the 60s you decide you really need to tell those children they have got to move mm, out mm. or another thing that happens is you and George start talking again mm. that you agreed now that we're older now that mm. the kids have grown up now that the kids have moved away whatever stage you're at mm. these are some of the changes mm. now don't expect George to go <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad to be talking <laughs> about change. Men do not like to talk about <laughs> changes generally. It's the women who initiate mm. those conversations. Mm -hmm. But they also, the slowing down enables you to hear more, mm. sense more, and so food habits begin mm. to be examined more carefully. Yes, yes. Because it's also the onset of some life stage ailments and diseases, mm. weight gain, high cholesterol, diabetes. Mm. Oh, the Hong Kong <laughs> hospital <laughs> authority is always telling us about lifestyle diseases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So women then begin to take it more seriously mm. because they know in their 60s and into their 70s, they can see that mm. they're moving more slowly. Yes, They can see that George mm. is moving more slowly. Mm -hmm. So then time has to be put into the medical checkups. Mm. What do you do annually? What do you do every <laughs> five years? Yes. Should you be taking vitamin supplements? Yes. So the discussions go on about health. Mm. And then 
what happens is George begins to see mm. she's beginning to make sense. Mm. So there's there's a little bit more calm conversations mm. Mm. with compared to the fifties and sixty early sixties when he was trying to just let me have all my time with yeah. you. <laughs> I don't want to be in the house with you. <laughs> it, it, it is something. So there is this general slowing down and shifting of priorities. Uh -huh. And as the priorities shift, mm -hmm. some people find mm. they really like to go to movies. Oh, yes. Now, you can go to movies early in the morning oh. at a much reduced price. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the activities that women go with their girlfriends mm -hmm. or go with their partner mm -hmm. and then go have yum cha. Mm. Yeah. Some get into an exercise mm -hmm. group. Mm -hmm. Those groups are great. Yeah. Because it pulls the morale up. Yes. Well, if Sally and George are going, then we're going to go too. So let's let's do that. And in this uh, in this uh, uh, city, I see a lot of uh, 60s couple. Um, they they would suddenly turned religious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the reason why if you go to some sort of either Buddhist group or you go to a Christian fellowship, you see a lot of people of your age. Yes. And that's good. Even my mom joined a Catholic group um, mm -hmm. and I think she had a, such a good time because yes. these people retire in their fifty mid 50s or early 60s still strong. And at that time, they want to serve the society. Mm -hmm. So I, th I see more and more uh, people of that age, a if the women are willing to go to some sort of religious group, mm -hmm. either Buddhism, Christian, or whatever, they are now more willing to do volunteer work. Yes. Right. Uh, I don't know. It, uh, mainly because Hong Kong is such a busy city. Yeah. When you are young, when you are struggling, and when you are cr crime, climbing the corporate ladder, mm -hmm. there's no way you can give up your work and go to like a Saturday afternoon volunteer mm -hmm. work. But once you retire, you realize that you have a lot of time and yes. you are smart enough to contribute to the society. Yes. So actually, that is another thing. Uh, w once we add to. Uh, live up to 60 or even older, we should look into religion or maybe some sort of volunteer work, community work, and that's a good time. It's, it's good also, it's a philosophy of life. Yes, yes. Your grandparent, you might be, be a great grandparent, if mm. not for your own children, mm -hmm. you look at society as a whole and you think, I have lived seven decades. Mm. People in their 80s mm. have lived seven. How has the world changed? Mm. Now, I find that some grandmothers, and even ones not grandmothers, they start their own diaries. Mm. They start remembering yes. what was, they're writing more. Mm -hmm. And if they're not writing, they're putting together scrapbooks mm -hmm. of things that they want their grandchildren to know. Oh, yes. And this, this becomes a life of generativity mm -hmm. because we know we're more than halfway through. Mm -hmm. We know society tells us the world's changing. Mm -hmm. We now have all the new technology, mm -hmm. so we could make recordings of it, but mm -hmm. people like to have paper and pencil and yeah, scrapbooks and right. notebooks and what have you. But there is this want to record life. Mm. One way or another, we want to record how our life has been. Mm. That certainly happens in the 80s because you see on the horizon, sweetheart, if you've lived to 83, mm -hmm. 85, 87, you know you're not going to live 20 years <laughs> more. See, so there are things you want your grandchildren to know or your great-grandchildren to know, mm -hmm. or things that you felt mm. as a child that you see young people today don't feel, mm. like saving money. <laughs> that is one thing. Yeah. So many 80-year-old women mm -hmm. knew that they had to save money. Mm. But you look at our 30-year-olds, <laughs> they're going to be working forever. <laughs> are they saving any money? <laughs> Why are the children living in your house or someone else's house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not thinking about saving mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. But the 80-year-old thinks about that. Mm -hmm. She thinks about her own health, her spouse's health. Mm. And what comes in the 80s is the recognition that your friends might be younger people mm -hmm. because a lot of your peers mm. are starting to die off. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you mourn yeah. close friends, mm -hmm. you mm. may mourn the death of your partner, mm -hmm. and you begin to count 
Mm. Women have shown me this. Mm. They used to have so many friends. Mm. But now, yeah. well, I have only seven friends, Roseanne, mm, mm. because they're all gone. Mm. And you can either become very sad, mm -hmm. close yourself in, mm -hmm. or you have those seven friends who are your peers. Mm -hmm. Now, how can you, I get this, mm. I get this question, how can you make friends mm. with people who are in their 50s? Mm. They're so young. Mm. Mm. In their 50s, they're so young. Yeah. Oh, oh this part, I really yeah. have some good suggestions. Um, what my mom did, and I think she did it beautifully, Yeah. Um, she, she, her friendliness always helped her to, to uh, uh, meet new friends. Uh, if she joined a club, she would not just hang around with her friends. She actually know all the staff of that club. Wow. Yeah. And some oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes when these people uh, quit their job and they go to another restaurant to work, they usually will tell my mom, oh, by the way, Mrs. Wong, I'm going to this restaurant to work. Next time you go to that restaurant. Ah. Yeah. So the, the thing is, don't don't think that if you are 80s, people will want to stay away from you. Actually, people of that age have certain wisdom. People will yeah. also want to yeah. learn from you. Mm -hmm. My mom had a lot of uh, younger friends in their 50s and uh -huh. 60s. And she is also good at her neighbor, uh, neighborhood right? thing. Yes. Like, remember we said um, when we were in then, it living in the village, what's good about women they just get hang around in the well you know cleaning yeah. their clothes <laughs> and they talk to each other yes but now with apartments you, you sort of have a separation oh yes but somehow if you're willing to if you're willing to open the door and if you're willing to greet people when during yeah. the long travel from 32nd floor to ground floor and say hello after a while, you you meet up with some new friends. You will. My my mom was so successful in her eighties. All her neighbors uh, like her. They even mm. asked her to go down to the there's uh, some sort of uh, uh, how to say a uh, clubhouse meeting. Yes. A function Halloween uh, mid uh, autumn festival, and the neighbor would just. Uh, knock on the door. Knock on the door and say, Mrs. Wong, why don't you come down? My mom said, oh, these are for kids. Halloween's not for ah. me. No, no, no. You do come down and sit and play with the kids. So you can imagine wow. is how you see yourself. And my mom was actually even s sadder than what you... She, I think, think she has seven friends. All her yeah. classmates, all her friends had passed away they in the last... They passed away. Right. They passed away. So you've got to keep on making new friends. And you have to have that idea that you want to do that. That's so hard yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And along with that, uh -huh. this extended lifespan, it's not only you have fewer friends, but you must learn to ask for help. Mm, yes. And our strong women, mm. our independent women, yes. our women who have coordinated so much in their lifetimes, mm -hmm. they feel a little bit bad. Mm. Should they be hiring a part-time helper in the house? Mm. Should they be using a cane, the cane. to walk? Mm. Should they get some bars put up in the bathroom? Mm. One has to admit to the world, mm. I'm not as physically strong, and I'm a little bit sure getting out of the shower in the mm. bath, mm, mm. should I get that? Mm. So asking for help for 60, almost 70 years, mm. she's been independent and strong. Mm. Now she must learn to ask for help. Yes. That's a very, very, it's not one time. Mm. It happens over a series of years. Ask for help with this. Come on. As one of my daughters said to me, Mom, <laughs> you had problems. You never used to wear glasses. Now you wear glasses. <laughs> so a little bit of help is a little bit of help. Yes. There, it just, it comes in stages. Mm -hmm. How do you need the help? Well, but as you mentioned, I can imagine it's so hard for a woman who has all her life been offering help and support to other people, and when she reached 80, suddenly she has to ask for help. Maybe it's not even in her language. She might yes. feel a little bit uh, embarrassed yes. and maybe intruding in other people's life. And yes. I know you for so many years, you never asked for help, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's it some learning. That it will that come. Yeah, yeah. It will come. Yeah. And and in the last uh, last time, last 
two weeks from now, mm -hmm. from then. Um, actually, we were talking um, um, about a movie, The Wife. Yes, yeah, the right. Wife. Yeah, and the I wife. know that you recently watched it. Oh, and it's I, I think the 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 leading actress, uh, Glenn Close, Glenn is, Close, is playing a role of a woman in her seventies, right? I think so. I yeah, think she must be in her seventies, at least, right? So her yes. her kids are all grown her up. Her kids right? are quite grown up, mm. quite independent. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and mm. the love story. Is yeah. it a love story? Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's so interesting uh, w when we are talking about identity. Yeah. Uh, this movie is actually a quite a, a, how do I say, more like a wrap up of what we have to say about women. Ah, uh, growing yeah. up from 20, 30, 40, 50, and, and now she's in her 70s. And she's trying to get back her identity. Yes. Yeah. What do you think about this? You know, woman supporting husband all the, her life, and now up to a point, you like you really want to show the world you are somebody. You are you are you are important. So, what do you think about it? Oh, Dorothy, it's it's one of the challenges of women's lives. Mm. You know, when the scenes of her in university and she's writing her own then there's the appeal of a man. Mm. Tell me one woman who has not suffered from, <gasps> he's wonderful, <laughs> he will fulfill me, yes, yes. I am the, she becomes in love. Mm. And you cannot talk logic <laughs> with any woman who thinks she's in love. Especially logic in the 20s, right? No, 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 no. But as she gets older, mm -hmm. she begins to think, well, uh, there's a great scene of mm. he wants to have sex with her. Mm. She's not so interested. Mm. And finally, she just puts her hands back and she says, okay. <laughs> so he's pretty much having sex with a doll because <laughs> she's not <laughs> reacting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But it meant so much to him. And at one time, mm -hmm. it meant so much to her. Mm. Mm. So there's this attraction, maddening attraction mm, mm. that some women have sometimes, mm. not all. Mm. They sometimes have it more than once in their life, mm -hmm. sometimes only once in their life, mm. sometimes not at all. But when that attraction comes, mm. it is so hard to think about the Sense, self yeah. because you want to be enclosed in right. his arms. The union is so you important. You want to be yeah. part of the two. And making him a star mm. is something you want to do. Mm. Yes, yes. She was not forced to do his writing, mm. to edit his works, mm -hmm. to help him. Mm. She did it out of love. Out of love, yes. Out yes. of love when mm. she was young. Yeah, yeah. And that's also her identity then, right? A Absolutely. very supportive wife. Yes. And also given that culture at that time, women had very little opportunity. Yes. So even though this movie we have been we have introduced you two weeks ago, but I still insist if if, if you still have time, please go to see the wife. It's so good. But now it's time for you to tell us, you know, what book you have been Oh the book. Yeah, well the let's book. move the wife in her seventies <laughs> and this is a relatively new book. Mm -hmm. It's um, The Hundred Year Life. Now, I said 120, but <laughs> let's go for 100 <laughs> years. There are several books now available mm -hmm. uh, that have to do with the extended lifespan. The, the lifespan extends because of biology and public health and good medication. That's for sure. You're going to live longer. But what's so challenging is all the changes in technology mm, now. Mm. So our life is different. You live in an apartment, mm. but you can do FaceTime yeah. with your children who are on two other continents. Yes, yes. Or your very good friend from childhood. Mm. So get yourself, if mm. you're a reader, mm. get yourself any one of the books mm. that are now available. Go to a bookstore, go to a library, visit your online, whoever <laughs> you get your books from. <laughs> And look for books on a hundred year life. Mm. This particular book is written by a psychologist and an economist. Mm. The psychologist looks at how the hundred years feels to the person. Mm -hmm. The economist <laughs> is saying, look at our society. Yeah. What kind of jobs do we mm, have? Mm. Can people be employed? Mm. And among the things they discuss mm. is that Life can no longer be three stages, education, mm. work, retirement, mm. 
But over this now extended lifespan, mm -hmm. we must talk about several transitions. Mm. Education to work, mm. then maybe back to education mm -hmm. and a different job. Mm. Then maybe back to some other kind of training and a different job. Mm. And I say that because all women need more money. Ah. They can't <laughs> just say, I'll have this job and then I'll retire. <laughs> the extended lifespan means longer days mm -hmm. and more money. <laughs> so I want you to go look for a book on living beyond the years you expect. <laughs> life, the hundred year life, this book. And, and that's, that's how we conclude this episode because yes. uh, Roseanne already tell you what we are going to talk about next week, right? <laughs> Obviously, it's money issue. It's money. So see you next week. <laughs>